Hey guys, Dan Alman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today we're going through the summon banners that are coming this weekend. It is Tuesday, and they're actually the same on the Forerunner server and the Global server. So I don't feel like that normally happens too often, but that is the case for this. Uh, the only thing I noticed that's different here is on Global server, we have the fishing event, Bounty Challenge. Um, you get some fishing hooks. And over here on Forerunner, instead of that, we have this Master Catch-Up, which is the card game. So that's the only difference I notice on the events for some reason between the Forerunner and the Global Server. I don't know why it's different, but I just wanted to point that out. But let's go through what we got going on in the Global Server and Forerunner Server. We have the event. I already kind of covered the event, so I won't spend too much time, but maybe I'll look at a couple things at the very end. Um, but first, let's go through summon banners so we have a regular 15x banner we have zaris who is the brand new summoner added to the game this is the first time we'll have um a banner for him on global server so 12 cost nice uh, low cost mage um pretty cool hero i have i tested him no i have not tested him on the test server yet um maybe we'll have to get some time to test him before the weekend and get some uh, a video out on him but interesting he has uh, inherits 100 percent of the master's attributes and assists. i'm assuming when it says attributes that's everything including crit rate um i would assume it's got ultimate that um summons some souls here let's see what it looks like Okay, they're like little totems, basically, that attack. Oh, they do move. They do move. They're like little tree things. I don't even know what these things are. Souls. Okay, they're like a little soul, I guess. All right, so that's that. Um, he also has slow, which is nice because he is a cultist, so that'll help with the cultist lord. And after souls of the dam disappear, the existence of the remaining will be extended by one second. Okay. All right, so we'll see how this guy is. I'm gonna try to get him tested onto the test server and see uh, how that little guy is. We have Lucius here who, um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I actually have him on my free-to-play account. I just got him on my free-to-play account um, and I've been using him a little bit. Um, I don't even have him level 60 yet, so I can't say much about him yet, but um, I don't know, he ignores defense. He has some extra hits um, on his, it's called Pursuit um, and does some other things. Interesting hero. I think a lot of people use him for guild boss too. Um, it's probably pretty decent in guild boss one because he's a single target hitter as well. Uh, Razak, I also actually have on my free to play account as well. So I probably shouldn't be summoning on my free to play account for um, this banner. Um, I should probably be going on this one just because I have, although I do need, is this guy AoE? Mm, AOE damage. Hmm. But his single target is single target, right? His single target is single target. His basic is single target. Hmm. It is unaffected by attack speed as well. But uh, this does do AOE damage. Okay. So everything, he does have all AOE damage. I don't know. See, here's the thing. On my free to play account, I need AOE mages. I also don't care about these three epics. Um,. So I would like him, but I already have the other two. So I'm probably better off summoning here because I also need fighters really bad. So I'm probably better summoning here on my free-to-play account. My main account's going to go definitely on the Kigiri. Um, if you saw my damage test on Kigiri, he is quite a hard hitter, um, especially at A3. So I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll buy a couple summons on the main account to do on this banner. Um... We also have a Leia and TF banner. So uh, Twin Fiend and Leia, both great heroes. Um, if you don't have Soul Cadence especially, Twin Fiend is very useful. You do kind of want him Awaken 1 to get this. Um, otherwise, Pyros may be you know, almost the same or better. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And I'm looking forward to this event as well. Um, this one, I also didn't get to test Kigiri with this artifact because we didn't have it on the test server but um so this gives damage inflicts one mark to targets hit by sweeping strike or ember strike for 15 seconds and it increases the damage by 20 percent so um, i don't know how high these percentages go um or if either of them move maybe only the increased damage moves and this one stays at 20 percent but that's probably going to be very strong for him as well yeah we got lots of cool stuff coming so uh in the heart of autumn's embrace moonlight caresses whatever 
um event for bountiful rewards so i don't even know what that is we have a lucky ticket thing that's going to start on thursday as well a lot of this stuff starts on thursday um it looks like probably the event starts on thursday fishing thing we have some uh, news in discord as well so if we go into discord they put some stuff in here i think we've already seen all this if i'm not mistaken but let's just go through it oh yeah let's go through this actually um so this is like some information on the heroes let's see what we got going on in here talent parry burst damage i saw a lot of people in discord say that the parry mechanic needs to be used and you need to cater to it and this and that i mean i just threw this dude in guild boss and just did some damage by himself and um seems pretty strong and just a single target hitter and it has some aoe damage and has this ignores 50 percent defense and dispels one buff so if you're looking for a dispeller i think this guy's going to be very useful for gb2 for sure um i don't know where else is going to be useful uh, i've seen someone asked me in discord you know where is it going to be useful i mean he's a fighter he's a hard-hitting fighter has uh damage ignore and um 50 eh, sorry <laughs> It has defense ignore and dispels a buff. So I think you'd be able to use them in AMR. You'd be able to use them in possibly arena, maybe uh, GB2. You could use them in GB1. Um, any of the other stuff you need a fighter, you could use them. So, you know, Void Rift, etc. So, yeah, here you go. Shields does some stuff. If he parries, does another thing. And then sometimes hits it again on the way back. Um, yeah. Parrying during this increases attack by 20% for 10 seconds. He's a cool hero. Looks cool um, for sure. And seems uh, like he's going to be very useful in a lots of content. Zaris, what do we got going on here? So we already kind of went through him, but uh, let's see. What do we got here? Basic attack. When there's no souls, restores rage. Uh, when summon their next two attacks each, dealing this and slowing. Okay. So yeah, Kata already went through that, but uh, what else we got going on here? It looks pretty cool, both of them. Definitely looks pretty cool. I think this uh, Summoner Bro looks really cool. And I've said it before, but Summoners are kind of like my favorite class in most games. Um, this guy's like a Samurai. He looks pretty sweet as well. Very cool looking. Uh, looks like we have a skin already. Is this a skin or is this like an alternative shading or something? This is a skin, right? It's got to be, yeah. Cool skin. Really cool skin um yeah there's the skin right there and here we go this is uh kind of the event stuff so this starts thursday um this is in game so we've seen this already but they just put it in discord as well it looks pretty cool i love the art they do I, I love the art they do it's pretty sweet we got a login event i don't know what this thing is what are these things i actually don't know um yeah what is that what are those white things comment below if you know what that means Sees the perfect timing to reel in, catch and collect rare fish to win rewards. So I thought there was going to be some sort of a fishing mini game, but when you look in game, it kind of looks like you're just killing some things and then your prize is fishing hooks. So, I mean, I don't know that I expected them to develop an entire fishing mini game, but I thought that would have been pretty cool. And then this is the one that I think is on the Forerunner server. So I don't know why. Global server has fishing and Forerunner has the card game. I'm assuming this is the card game. It looks like they're playing cards. Um, so I'm assuming that's what that is. And then here's this Estrid. You'll be able to get a copy of. I'm actually going to use that on my free to play account. I might try to grab her because I don't have. Um, I don't have a lot of fighters. I have literally one fighter on my free to play account. I'm trying to do um, the fighter promotion raid and it's kind of funny because i'll show you real quick it's kind of funny because it's like oh just use these heroes these are your recommended heroes oops um guides recommended and look at i literally have none of them besides wrath it's the only one i have i don't have any of these heroes um so this one these ones are extremely difficult for me just because i don't have any of this stuff um i don't even have a demos or an estrid yet so i would really like a copy of them but I need a ranged fighter as well, like really bad. I need a ranged fighter. So I would love like uh, arrogance would be really useful on this account um, with that range. Even in Araka, I would die for on this account, my free to play account, because I also don't have a piercer lord at all. Um, 
they had like the fusion, the fragment fusion and stuff for Piercer Lord. So I uh, unfortunately missed those because I just started my account. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. But uh, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Just want to go through the summon banners, all that stuff. They are actually the same, which is very interesting. They are the same between the two. Very slight differences in terms of some of the events. But other than that, um, everything else seems to be pretty much the same between Forerunner and the regular server. That's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If you want to purchase any packs, um, use my link in the description below. It helps me out, helps you out. So uh, that's it for the video. Have a great day, everyone, and then enjoy your Tuesday. See you guys.